Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have my basically like fourth quarter, October through December coloring haul. I, this is, if you guys have been on my channel for any length of time at this point, you know that I kind of just was in one big coloring slump this year. Um, I discovered diamond painting and so I put a lot of coloring on the back burner this year. Um, so I haven't been filming as many hauls this year. I've been combining more hauls because I just don't have enough stuff to show you guys in like one month's worth of a video, if that makes sense. Um, but today I have my October through December coloring book haul really. Um, and then one other kind of fun little item I'll show you guys at the end. There really are not that many books here. Um, I honestly did a very good job at really not purchasing during this last quarter of the year. Um, but I did pick up a few books um, that I wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first book I want to show you guys is this adorable new series and coloring book <laughs> that Morgan O'Brien has recently put out. And this is Annie Day, a soft living coloring book. This coloring book, in my opinion, is like super aesthetic and I love it. And I haven't done any pages in it yet, but I just like love how cozy this book is. I am really excited to see what else he comes out with in this series. Um, and it looks like it's just about this character named Annie and she's just doing like a bunch of, I don't know, cozy things and I feel like the year of 2023 was the year I got into like more cozy hobbies and this is just so fun. So in my opinion, she's just doing a bunch of cozy hobbies and I love it. Um, highly recommend this book. It's a little bit different than his Matchstick Mouse series in the fact that these images are actually a little bit more detailed and the line works a little thinner than his Matchstick Mouse series in my experience with it. Um, so. Um, if you don't love that, you might not like this book, but I do think if you guys are like also into diamond painting, I don't know what it is. This gives me like very much cozy vibe, cozy, cozy hobby vibe, kind of like diamond painting. I mean, coloring is too. So I don't know. This book is just like a mood and I love it. Next up, we have 50 festive themed miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. This is her newest minis book and I love it. It's just as good as all of her other minis books. Unfortunately, I do have a whip in here and it was actually a whip that I started on a color and chat that I just never finished. Um, so I definitely, oh, I really want to finish it before the end of the year, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, and it's totally okay to have whips. I just have never had a whip stay a whip in a camellia book. I usually always finish it in like one or two sittings. So it is a little sad for me personally that like it happened that way. Um, but this book is just really, really cute, and I'll show you guys the whip. Yeah, I did it in a color and chat, and I don't know if I just, like, wasn't liking how it was turning out. I don't know. I don't hate it. I, maybe I got stuck. I don't know. I just haven't felt motivated to continue coloring it, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. There are a bunch of really adorable images in this book. Um, so hopefully in 2024 I pick it up a little bit more often. But, um, oh, I love the elf, but... Yeah, just a really cute book, and I have a whip, which is so unfortunate, but that is 50 festive theme miniatures. Next, I have this super adorable book, and I bought this on a whim, I'm not gonna lie. This is Halloween All Year Long by Deborah Muller. This is so cool. If you guys are unaware, I love Halloween. Um, I didn't do like any Halloween coloring this year um, because of my slump, um, but this is so cool because you have all different like seasonal Halloween images, which is so cool. Like I'm down to color and diamond paint Halloween all year anyways, but this is just so cool. There was one page in particular that actually kind of creeped me out and I don't know if I'm going to flip to it or not, but I don't know where it is in the book. Um, so some of these images are kind of creepy, but they're so super duper fun. Oh, that is adorable. Yeah, I really, really love this book. It just has a bunch of like Halloween all year images as the name would suggest. Yeah, I didn't. I think the page I was thinking of is towards the back of the book. Um, but yeah, it just goes through like all the different seasons and has a bunch of very fun Halloween images that I feel like you don't typically get in Halloween books just because I feel like Halloween books are very like, 
they stay in the fall season and they don't really expand but it's cool that you get a bunch of different seasonal Halloween picks in this book. You guys this is the last coloring book I had to show you guys. That is how little I have purchased over the last few months which is totally okay honestly if I wasn't feeling like coloring it probably made sense for me not to be purchasing coloring stuff um but this is Celebrate the Seasons by Deborah Muller and this is a project book for 2024 which is ambitious and I do admit this is ambitious and it probably won't happen that way but I liked the images a lot and wanted um I wanted a coloring book to focus on in the new year and basically there are like two images per month and they're all really really fun um, and they you know go with the season and oh, look how cozy look how cozy that is I love it yeah these images are really stunning we will we will see if it actually ends up happening um, it's a project book with my friend Ash simply Ash here on YouTube so we will see we will see what happens um, yeah, I, I, it's very, it's quite ambitious. <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens, obviously. Um, oh, I really love these images, though. They're really, really pretty. I was debating between this book to be the project book and the Hannah Lynn version of, like, the, I guess it's Celebrate the Holidays. This one was more, like, focused in by, like, having by month, and I liked that about it. Um, so for this year, I wanted to focus on this one and maybe next year we'll focus on the I don't know it really depends how this one goes again ambitious I'm talking ambitious I fully 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 admit to that but that is celebrate the seasons by Deborah Muller last but certainly not least I just wanted to show you guys the bullet journal I got for 2024 um I do currently and I'll show you guys my bullet journal I do currently have a coloring YouTube bullet journal um and I have a separate one for diamond painting that I think it's just easier to keep diamond painting separate um but I started this journal in July and the way I hate everything about this journal um I didn't even write down anything for December I was writing it all in November and I didn't like how anything was laid out I'm pretty sure I had like a habit tracker at one point that I just didn't fill out I'm like you know what I think for the new year we're just gonna buy a new bullet journal and hope for the best um I haven't filled anything out in it yet but basically this is just like dotted paper there we go it's just dotted paper and um yeah it's just a bullet journal and I figured I'd get the maroon color um because it's pretty and it's different than my my uh, diamond painting bullet journal and then it has like a little little string you can mark whatever page you're on I'll just put it there but um yeah that is <laughs> everything I have purchased over the last few months so nothing crazy at all um, but I just wanted to give you guys a small haul to kind of start fresh with the new year if you will um, definitely keep your eyes peeled for a finished pages video to be uploaded I believe Monday I think that's I'll double check quick on my phone I'm pretty sure I have it scheduled to go up Monday um, so there won't be a whip and chat on Monday yeah my finished page is going up Monday which is the first um, and then, yeah, uh, and there's no, obviously, if you guys didn't realize, um, because this video is going up instead, there's no diamond painting vlog this week. Um, I decided to take a break this week. Honestly, I thought Diamond Art Club was going to take a break too. They did not. They are still releasing this week, but I don't think I'm going to purchase anything this week, um, which is probably for the best. Um, but no vlog this week. I will continue that next week. But anyways, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already for more coloring and diamond painting content in the new year. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!